Uh, as was mentioned by Brett, uh, the governor in his speech focused on three main areas for funding, and one of them being education. In fact, uh, he pointed out a particular teacher from Jacksonville who was in the gallery, and it also garnered much applause from the assembly. The budget before you includes increased funding for education, health care, and public safety. Although little specifics were offered in education funding in the governor's state of the state, some headway has already been made with raising teachers' median and starting salaries, according to the Arkansas Education Association. But they say there are the same needs in other areas. Teachers aren't the only ones that make a school work. You know, we have all the other professional staff or support staff that help, and they've been neglected. That includes bus drivers, counselors, security staff, and other professions. Nelson says the ASA has had a successful relationship with Governor Hutchinson. Even though there is not a specific budget plan offered for teachers in the governor's state of the state, she feels legislators will take up the issue. As legislators visit their districts and see their school buildings, they really need to say, hey, this we need to do better. Nelson says legislators did work on health benefits and pensions during the last session, and she continues to hope educators see no premium increases, which could impact any teacher pay raises. We have urged for no increase in premiums. There is a better plan coming down the pike that is going to be worked on during the fiscal session. Another point that Nelson hopes get recognized during these budget talks is how hard and long Arkansas teachers have worked and endured through the pandemic. We're talking COVID spikes, on again, off again, mask mandates, and quickly pivoting to virtual school whenever needed. We're live at Rogers High School, Paul Petit, 4029 News.